This grand structure that you see is not at the Atlantis the Royal. This is Shoba One, which is very close to Burj Khalifa, the tallest tower in the world. But in today's video, I would like to start with the layout first. Shoba's layouts are truly special, a rare find in today's Dubai property market. Behind me is the construction site of Shoba One. Construction is in full swing, day and night. Let's start with the one bedroom, unit number 2610 in Tower C. Price is 1.62 million dirhams. It's in the link and the view is of the back side, which is the Rasul Khor side. But just look at how perfect this is if you want to Airbnb this one bedroom. It comes with a powder room, which is great for Airbnb. Actually, this is a 1.5 bedroom as it has a small study or storeroom as well. If you don't want to Airbnb, you can convert it into a walk-in closet or storage. Nice sized living and dining and kitchen area. The main door is outward facing northwest direction. This is a two bedroom plus a maid's room. Unit 1515-1515 in Tower D. Price is 2.54 million dirhams. Again, view of the Russell Ho area side. What I like is that the both bedrooms are in suite and it has a powder room for your guests. And of course, the maid's room with her own bathroom is rare to find in a two bedroom in this downtown or Maidan area. A good sized living and dining area and a kitchen with lots of counter space. A separate laundry room. The balcony is small, but overall this is a beautiful layout unit for this amazing price. And let's see another two bedroom plus maids, unit number 4410 in Tower A. Price is 2.92 million dirhams because of the higher 44th floor. View is a golf course. And again, both bedrooms, very spacious and are in suite. Plus there's a powder room for the guests. So it's 2.5 baths. And the maid's room with their own bathroom is always a plus. Kitchen is huge. Spacious living and dining area and a perfect size balcony. Again, it's on the 44th floor. So views are going to be great main door is outward facing southeast direction the three beds were not really interesting so here is a four bedroom floor plan unit number 2106 in tower a price is 4.6 million dirhams full open golf course views all four bedrooms are in suite plus a powder room for your guests a separate laundry room and just look at the large storeroom we all need extra storage space Again, maid's room with her own bathroom, two balconies, and one of the balconies huge, which can have a seating area to enjoy the beautiful views of the golf course, Rasul Khor Sanctuary, and the downtown Dubai skyline. And of course, the spacious living and dining is rare to find in apartments in this area. And notice a kitchen island. You can place bar stools here and have a great time with family and friends. Let's look at the towers now. So this is Shoba one and there are five towers, one, tower A, tower B, tower C, tower D and tower E. This is the golf course and this is the golf clubhouse and this is Al Khail Road. And you can see the amenities, the podium level amenities are going to be very beautiful. And if I turn around, this side will be the Burj Khalifa. So these are the amenities. So what you can see is a beautiful piece of architecture. And look at the spacing in between the apartments. This obviously will give a lot of sunlight and uh, very well designed the tower a is the tallest shoba one is a community within a community the five interconnected towers with four beautiful podiums and themed courtyards create a unique sense of community you can see tower a b c d and e with links in between tower a is the highest with 65 floors 
and tower E is the lowest height with 30 floors. Here are some renders to help you visualize how everything will look. When it comes to location, here is a quick drive around video which shows the construction site. You can see the construction is going in full swing day and night. And they will relocate all the warehouses which you see in the Ras Al Khor and Al Abir area and convert this into a fully residential area. Things will completely change here. It's extremely close to the downtown Burj Khalifa, around a 15 minute drive and uh, the Dubai International Airport is also around 15 minutes from here and is right opposite the Ras Al Khor Wildlife Sanctuary and the views of this side will be really nice. For comparisons, let's look at Dubai Creek Harbour which is very close to Shoba 1. Both are on Ras Al Khor Road and I'm not going to compare Shoba 1 to Dubai Design District D3 as the pricing is very high over there. So the Creek Harbour is a good comparison. The Creek Harbour is waterfront and will have better amenities and the vibe is going to be great as it's by Imar, the biggest builder in Dubai. But we'll have a lot of tourists visiting the area as Imar is going to build a very tall iconic structure in the area so it's going to be really busy. Whereas Shoba one will be more quieter, feeling like its own little community. And each tower will have its own sky terrace and not to forget the 18 hole pitch and put golf course will attract a lot of buyers to Shoba One. So which one do I prefer? <clears throat> My take is that the Shoba One is the winner this time. While I'm always a fan of MR, Shoba One's spacious and functional layouts won me over. Apartments like these will be in high demand from end users or for rentals. Plus you can't beat Shoba's known construction quality. They are much better than MR when it comes to construction. So what do you think? Creek Harbour's waterfront excitement or Shoba One's better and comfortable layouts plus golf course living? Let me know your pick in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more Dubai Real Estate Insights. I'm Asfar Naeem from Ultra Homes Real Estate. Let's make it happen.